What up ladies and jelly spoons, welcome to another day of lockdown. So welcome to another day of this wonderful uh, quarantine lockdown that we're in. I figured since we're in this lockdown and everybody's talking about washing their hands, I'm gonna teach you how to wash your hands because maybe you have some cards and coins and you think, you know, maybe these need to be clean. So why not do it? Anyway, so we're gonna be going over some hand washing techniques for cards and coins, just quick things, nothing too crazy. I think sometimes they're overused, but in the right scenario, they can be beautiful. Let's get right into how to wash your hands with some cards and coins. Let's do it. Come here, yeah, you guys are Let's just go. Step one to wash your hands with a card. The first thing you need to do is get the card into a palm and then we can start scrubbing the fingers. Step one, you're going to uh, do some kind of retention. I like to do this one. And it's basically just doing this with the card. So you hold it out with your index finger and thumb. Your middle finger kind of touches it right below the index finger. And you're going to pull back, pivoting the card back into almost a tenkai palm. So as this hand goes over, this hand does this. Okay. So when you do it all together, it looks like this. And you have to watch your angles because if, if I were to just do this, right, you'd see the card. So you have to move your hand a little bit, maneuver it, maybe even turn a little bit. Now this hand, you want to just kind of do this. You don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do that so with this hand it just comes over almost like you're going to take the card like this now you pivot the hand finishes goes into tenkai you drop your hand now you show the card gone so that's step one to washing your hands so you vanish the card and now immediately after you show the card gone this hand that's tenkai in the card is going to swipe down so it's going to swipe down the hand and you see it's away from the card, just like that. So now the next step is that this hand is going to start to come forward. And as it goes forward, it's going to drop the card into a into a cop position. And then this hand is going to pivot over as this hand pivots in just a little bit. So from the front, you should see this. From the side, you should see this. It's from the other side. So the card gets dropped. I'm going to do that. Okay. So from the top, vanish, wipe, hand goes forward, drop, pivot out, and now you're here. Now you're going to reverse the actions, you're going to go backwards. So you're going to come back, and you're going to place this back into a palm. So you palm the card, and now you're going to roll that palm around this hand. You don't want to go too far and drop, you just want to roll it around and then come back and come by the palm of the hand here and just stop. So you come forward. Now you're gonna almost do the same thing again. You're gonna come back if you want and you can produce the card just by kicking it forward and dropping it. So while it's here, you drop it into your hand and then you kick it forward with your pinky and then you catch it. Now you wanna watch your angles. I'm kind of flashing it here. This is, this is the hand washing, right? So I'll go through it again. So. You're going to do the retention vanish. That leaves the card in a tenkai. Your opposite hand where it's supposed to be is gonna turn over, you're gonna wipe down. Then you're gonna to start to move forward. You're gonna deposit that card into a cop position. You're going to pivot your hand down as this hand pivots out. Now you're gonna reverse the action, come back, palm the card, roll it around the hand to this palm. And then you can literally do the whole thing over again or produce the card from there, whatever you want to do. So now I'm going to show you how to wash your hands with a coin because sometimes the metal is better to clean with than that cardboardio. So the way I like to get into this hand wash is with spider vanish. And there's a couple of spider vanish that you could choose from. Or you could just use like a classic palm vanish. You just do one of those. 
and you'll be in the same position to do this. So we'll start with, with the spider vanish. We'll start with the original one, that uh, the one that I see the most people doing. And a lot of times you'll see people do something really weird. They'll take the coin in this position and like that and then come out and drop it. And that's what they do. Now the whole idea is that this is supposed to look like a French drop. So I don't know where this comes from. And then they show their hand and they have the coin here. What you should be doing is taking the coin like a French drop and then palming it as you place it in someone's hand. And now you can show this hand empty and then go into the hand wash. So that's one spider vanish. So you just go here. As you go forward, this goes into palm, like that. And then you release it into their hand, okay? So just here, squeeze into palm, and then you let it go. The other one uh, is a little different. This one, you take it this way, and as you place it down, you place it into the palm. So you literally just take it like this, go forward, place it into the palm, and that's that, and it stays here. I actually like doing this one quite a bit because it feels, I don't know, I just like it. You do whichever one you like. But those are two spider vanishes for you to get into this position. So I'm gonna show you two ways to wash your hands with a coin. The coin starts in palm. Now you show this hand empty. And what's gonna happen is this hand is gonna start from the top of the palm and go down towards the fingertip. So it goes here. Now you're gonna turn over. And as you turn over, this hand is gonna go directly to the coin. And you're gonna push, I'm gonna expose it a little bit. You're gonna push the coin down to these fingertips like that and once you get to about here this hand is going to curl in like this as you go up this arm palm it and now you come back down to show that your hands are empty so in full motion it's like this this hand wipes down you're going to pivot this hand goes right to the coin you come down now this hand goes curls in goes up the arm as it's pointing and now you come down and you show this hand empty and then you could do like a little cap subtlety if you'd like cap subtlety is this right here so the coin is palmed and you show basically the back of the hand kind of showing your hand empty that's one hand wash now the other hand wash i actually like a little bit more it's a little faster a little more direct and you end in a different position you don't end in the position you started in which can be useful for different things so you start in the palm, just like you did before. So you vanish, whatever you want to do. Your hand wipes, and now you're going to come here, show your hands, and come back. And that's it. So what happens here is, instead of coming from here and coming down, you're going to bring this part of your hand on the empty hand up to the coin. So you come down, now this comes up to the palm, like this. Wipes it down, and you're going to do it across the pinky. There, this comes up towards the pinky. And now you're gonna come back into finger palm and you're just gonna turn your hand over and wipe. And that's it. Let's do the spot, let's do the whole thing. So here, bang, this goes here. Done. And the original one, we'll do the spider vanish. This goes here to here, up, down, and it's gone. So there you go, my friends. Two ways to keep your hands clean in these times. Wash your hands and wash your hands with coins, cards. Not that I think you should do that with cards and coins. I, I think there's better things to do but why not show you how to wash your hands all right everybody that is it i hope you practice that learn it and you know it's a cool little way to just kind of fiddle around with coins and show your hands empty very quickly so that that's it play around with it get used to the angles try not to flash too much as always i'm going to be streaming as much as i can on twitch so you can follow me right over here my name is right there, Xavier Spade on Twitch. I usually do it around 7 or 8 o'clock Eastern time, you know, at night. And I go until I literally can't anymore. And yet, you know, like I said before, this is a really weird time where a lot of things are happening. And don't go out. Just wash your hands. Stay home. If, if you don't have to do anything, just chill out. Things are crazy and they're not going to get any easier with people going out and getting sick. So I'm going to be trying to make a lot of content. A lot of my other friends are going to be making content. Don't, we're not asking for any money. Just support the creators that you like so that we can keep creating for you. So hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified. If you like what we're doing, comment below. And that's it. Just try to stay safe. Come hang out with me on Twitch. Uh, come watch the videos. Watch my friends' videos. Watch everybody's videos. We have nothing but 
time at this point, so why not have some fun with it? So be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video during the lockdown. A peace out, guys. Arr.